Hi everyone, thanks for clicking and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about SBAS, Satellite Based Augmentation System. Before we get started though, kindly consider helping the channel grow by subscribing and liking the video if you found it helpful. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. So first, we will look at what is SBAS, how does it work, types of SBAS, and last but not least, the advantages of SBAS. A satellite-based augmentation system, SBAS, is a wide area differential genesis signal augmentation system, which uses a number of geostationary satellites able to cover vast areas to broadcast primary genesis data which has been provided with region, integrity, and correction information by a network of SBAS ground stations. While the primary purpose of SBAS is to provide integrity assurance, Use of the system also increases the accuracy and reduces position errors to less than one meter. Now, the performance of Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, can be improved by regional SBAS, or satellite-based augmentation systems, such as the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service, IGNOS. SBAS improves the accuracy and the reliability of GNSS information by correcting signal measurements errors and by providing information about the accuracy, integrity, continuity, and availability of its signals. Well, why is it important? SBAS is essential for applications where accuracy and integrity are critical. In particular, SBAS is indispensable in situations where people's lives are at stake or where a form of legal or commercial guarantee is required and GNSS is being used, especially during PBN, or performance-based navigation. For example, in aviation, GPS does not satisfy the strict operational requirements set by the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, for use in such critical flight stages as final approaches. However, with the addition of SBAS, ICAO standards are satisfied. Now, let's move on to how does it work. SBAS uses Genesis measurements taken by accurately located reference stations deployed across an entire continent or region. All measured Genesis errors are transferred to a central computing center where differential corrections and integrity messages are calculated and generated. These calculations are then broadcast over the covered area using geostationary satellites that serve as an augmentation or overlay to the original Genesis message. In simple terms, the sequence is as follows. The SBAS consists of reference stations placed across the area of coverage. The job of these stations is to monitor Genesis to determine position headers. Then we have master stations where position headers are sent to and processed then a correction message is generated. Next, the correction messages are sent to uplink stations across the area of coverage. The uplink stations then uplink those correction messages to geosatellites for it to further broadcast them to airplanes equipped with SBAS such as WAS, IGNOS, MSAS, etc. to improve the accuracy and integrity of the GNSS, thus facilitating and making it possible for airplanes to fly RMP approaches like LPV or even fly in congested areas where PBN is required. Let's look at the types of SBAS available out there. We have the European IGNOS or European Geostationary Navigation Overlay System, the Japanese MSAS or Multifunctional Satellite Augmentation System, the American WAS or Wide Area Augmentation System, and so on. This diagram will help you visualize every area in its corresponding SBAS system. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this short video about SBAS. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And like always, until next time, see ya.